This is Twit. Let's get into iOS 14.5 and uh, some of the new features. I think the biggest one that we want to talk about today, one that is, uh, I have received more uh, personal texts, um, not personal emails, um, tweets, and all sorts of, um, I've not been accosted on the street about it, but uh, everything else beside <laughs> that, uh, asking, how do I turn on unlock with unlock using it's such a it's such a hard thing to say unlock your iphone with apple watch using face id while you're wearing a mask <laughs> so let's just start with this it used to be the case that if you were wearing a mask and you lifted up your phone to do face id then the phone would just say eh, eh. you know i i can't recognize that it's you i don't want to just use your eyes as a way to unlock the phone and you just had to type in your password now at the beginning it would sort of error three or four times. I can't remember how many, um, three or four times before it finally would pop up and say, okay, type in your password before it prompt you for your password. Then Apple updated iOS so that it would not, uh, if it recognized that you were wearing a face mask, then it would just immediately prompt you for your password instead of having to wait for those errors to go through first, which was very good. But some of us, like myself, have very long, safe passwords. And so uh, typing in a password is still a really long, it takes a really long time. Uh, Apple then said, okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, because I know a number of people who were upset that, uh, you know, they'd have customers come in and it came time to pay or something like that. And they would take off their mask for a second, look at their phone, they'd put the mask back on. It's like, you're completely defeating the purpose of wearing the mask. And so mm -hmm. finally, we have uh, available to everybody the ability to unlock your phone if you have an Apple Watch using Face ID and the Apple Watch unlock. So Rosemary Orchard, given that I've been asked this question so many times, how in the world do people set up this feature? How do they turn this on? Well, step one, go buy a mask, get a nice comfy one because you should be wearing it a little of the time right now. Step two, in your iPhone and iOS 14.5, make sure your iPhone is up to date. You can do that in general and then software update. It will check for updates and it should then say you're up to date. As you can see, I've got a developer beta to install, but that's a story for another day. So then once you've made sure you're running iOS 14.5, that is a requirement. Gives you 10 new emojis and unlock with your mask on. Uh, you can scroll down to face ID and passcode. Then you need to enter your passcode, which I'll just do quickly here. And then we have a few options. Okay. So you can use face ID to unlock your iPhone and all of these things. And then if you scroll down a bit further, there is unlock with Apple watch, and then you can toggle this on and off. So that, you know, when, when your iPhone is locked, then you can actually unlock it using this. So I'm going to lock my iPhone, which you don't see on the screen, but now I'm going to go and unlock it. And that that worked because I don't have my mask on. Okay. Um, and I don't actually have a mask with me, but I'm just going to put my hand in front or between my phone and the camera and it's worked. And I've just felt a buzz here and I'm going to see if I can uh, show this on camera. This is a little bit difficult to uh, show people. No, that's, that's gone away, unfortunately. Um, but uh, it pops up a little notification on your, your watch to say that it's unlocked your iPhone. And if you don't want your iPhone unlocked, then you can tap a button that says lock iPhone. And it appears right there, which is great. So, you know, if somebody else does pick it up, it is trying to recognize the top half of your face. But obviously it's, you know, this, this here is quite a limited area for it to match, especially if like me, you've got a fringe or bangs uh, for, for the Americans. Um, <laughs> So uh, you, you need to make sure you have a passcode set up on your Apple Watch. If you don't have a passcode set up on your Apple Watch, you're missing out on a couple of cool things like paying with your Apple Watch with Apple Pay. And for that, you don't need Face ID. You can just double press the side and, you know, your credit card pops up. You're ready to go. Uh, so make sure you've got your passcode enabled on your Apple Watch. And then this feature will be available to you. It's easy and it works 10 out of 10 times. I, I do not have a problem with it at all. I'm really pleased with it. Agreed. Um, I have been able to use it nonstop. Um, I, and once people have gotten this feature set up, they, 
universally have been very pumped about it. Uh, and, you know, oh, yeah. oh, finally, this is so good. So I'm very happy about it. Um, it seems to work quite well. And uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, you, the one thing that everybody needs to know, uh, and Apple includes this in their support documentation, is this is strictly for unlocking your iPhone. It is not an Apple Pay authentication method. Uh, it is not a way to unlock apps that use Face ID or anything else. It is just for unlocking your iPhone. Um, when you get the prompt on your watch that says, hey, uh, your, app, your watch was just used to unlock your iPhone, uh, choosing to then lock your iPhone because there's there's a little prompt the prompt button says you know let you lock it again and at that point you would have to type in your password in order to unlock the the device so that is in the situation where somebody else unlocks your phone somehow and you get that notification you're like uh, my phone should not be unlocked you can immediately get it locked and they won't be able to do it right away again by just face iding with it so there are some protections in place that i think are really good uh for apple to to use for this um but yeah i think it's important to know that you know you've got to to turn on the features with the apple watch and with the iphone um and then you can go through that process. But once you've got that, you're good to go. And uh, you can unlock your your Apple Watch. Or I mean, excuse me, your iPhone. 